What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing Clone Trooper with Space Gear. Um, this guy is pretty cool. Um, he kind of has an inaccurate name. This guy, this guy, He is a Clone Trooper with Space Gear. But he is just a 104th Attack Battalion Clone Trooper. He is under Commander Wolf and General Plo Koon. But I guess they didn't really know what the battalion name was or something maybe. At the time. So let's go ahead and take a look. At his packaging let's go ahead and raise the camera here so he comes in the standard 2008 Star Wars Clone Wars packaging you have a nice uh, picture of the trooper there he looking really nice and battle damaged <clears throat> and the blue visor he is number 21 there's a nice picture of the actual figure and and that's just a picture of sinker and boost from the like um, the Rise of the Malevolence, I think it is. And then here's a little bit of Wave 3. And then all of Wave 4, which is really, really cool. So his um, description reads, Clone Troopers are outfitted with additional gear when a battle calls for them to leave their ships and venture into the vacuum of space for an extended period of time wearing specialized breathing equipment. They can move through space to board enemy ships for attack or seizure. Seizure. Yeah, that little description is just basically kind of made up. You know, these guys weren't really meant to be out in space. Um, their their act their phase one suits actually do like add some kind of pressurized like system in space for a little bit, but not too long, I think. But yeah, this suit is just all made up just for the little gimmicky feature. But yeah. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. Let me move the camera down here, guys. I forgot. There we go. Um, so he comes with a standard DC-15 carbine blast rifle, and you can see it is just, has been molded to his hand. It is just the standard Clone Wars one that we have been seeing for with a lot of the Clone Troopers. Really, real nice. And then he does come with this little, um, like, armor's chest piece, the little space piece. Um, basically what you do is take his head off and then, um, fit it over them, fit it over that thing. And then, for some reason, he also does come with a gray DC, light gray DC-17 blaster pistol. You never see these in the show, but they've done it. And if you kind of didn't notice, this is a little holster right here. You know. And then he comes with a little jetpack. This is the same jetpack as Obi-Wan Kenobi's. It's just um, painted in a different color. And then he does have a rocket for it. And it does shoot. But, you know doesn't right now and there's a peg on here to stick this on the back like so but yeah that is all his accessories pretty nice you know pretty gimmicky but it is okay <clears throat> at least you get a blaster so that's perfectly fine so let's go and take a look at his articulation so he has a ball joint in his head um actually fun fact um this is clone trooper is like one of my um, like clone, oldest clone troopers i guess you say because i've had him in my collection for a while. <clears throat> so he does have a bone in his head. He can look up, not so much, down, and then tilt. He does have ball hinges in his shoulders, which get an excellent range of motion with a swivel. Ball hinge elbows get a nice range of motion with a swivel, of course. And ball hinge wrist. On this wrist, it moves left and right. And I'll go ahead and show you all that. Pretty, pretty nice. And obviously with the swivel. And on this wrist, it moves up and down for the trigger finger, which is also really good. And he does have a ball hinge in the torso. He could go, like, he could crunch forward and then backwards and with the swivel there. Only swivel at the hips, but that's perfectly fine. Forward and backwards. Um, ball hinge knees. Get an outright range of motion with a swivel. Ball hinge ankles go down, up, and then a swivel, which is really, really good. So his articulation is excellent. We're pretty used to it by now because we've seen this mold a lot. And actually, funny enough, if you go on the back here of the packaging, this clone trooper uses the 2008 clone trooper um, helmet mold. But if we look on the back here, this 212th Attack Battalion trooper is using the 2009 mold. Well, not in that picture, but the actual figure does use the 2009 helmet mold. Um, but 
they just decided to use this one for some reason. I feel like it would look pretty. It would look pretty cool with the 2009 helmet. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some of his details. His helmet is really nice. I really do love the Wolf Battalion Clone Troopers. He does have a little bit of a brown, like a maroonish, darkish, reddish brown color. I don't really know what color it is. But the later variations of the actual wolf, they use like a light bluish gray, which is really nice. I do prefer that look, but I also do like this look. Here on top of the helmet, they do have a nice looking black wolf, which looks really cool. There's the fin, and then the reddish brown kind of continues on towards the back and looks really good. And he has more reddish brown right here on the back and like back chest, like back plate there. And then to the shoulders, to the um, down to the elbows, um, has the reddish brown. But on this shoulder pad, it has like this cool wolf pattern, which I really, really do like. And yeah, my whole figure is kind of a little bit yellow. This chest piece is a little bit yellow because it is a 2008 clone. But um, like even the whole figure is just kind of a little dirty, unfortunately. And the legs are pretty simple on the thighs. And then here on the shins. They do have the reddish brown, which is really, really nice. So, yeah, this guy is really cool. I really do like him. So, let's go ahead and get the final verdict. So, here he is all geared up. He actually looks pretty, pretty cool. This actually does hinder his head articulation a lot, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Obviously, it's a little gimmicky, but, you know, it's it's, it's a little kid's toy. I mean, come on, like, you like just imagine if you're a kid, man, and you saw this in the stores back in 2008, and you, like, Dude, this is a freaking clone trooper with space gear. Like, it's pretty cool, but, like, obviously, if I'm not going to be posing him, having him on the shelf with this or anything. But it it's nice for what it is. So, honestly, do I recommend this um, figure? I definitely do. It's really good for your 104th Attack Battalion, your wolf pack. Um, he is really good. His articulation is great. He is not that expensive either. This is... um. This is actually not his only release. Um, he comes in this wave, um, wave four of two thousand um, eight, and he comes in the he gets re-released um, the very next year, two thousand nine, in the red and white packaging, in the first wave. So, and then there's also some sinker and boost counterparts, and they have the removable helmets, same paint scheme and everything. Um, and I think that's all for the phase one guys. And then obviously you get um, Wolf, which I do have and. It's really, really nice. I really do like that figure. But, yeah, definitely pick him up. He's really good for your collection. So, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.